Kia ora whanau and welcome to another episode of Get a Job and Get Healthy with Costas Enterprises. I am your host Alex Costas um, and today I am sort of at a loss of what I'm actually going to talk about. Um, so I thought I'd just sort of give you guys a bit of an update what's going on with me, um, talk a little bit about Redbubble stuff, uh, talk a little bit about Valentine's, we'll, we'll call this the Valentine's Day episode even though it's, well, a couple of days earlier than Valentine's. Um, basically, I thought I'd just give you guys a, a, a heads up on what's going on. Um, if you do want to contact me, please feel free to do um, so at uh, d-o-n-c-o-s-t-a-s at gmail.com. That's doncostas at gmail.com. Uh, or alternatively, you can go to my website, uh, costas dot, uh, costasenterprises.business. Uh, dot blog um, that's all together um, and yeah I'd really love to hear from you guys um, I'm currently sitting at 609 listens which still blows my mind um, and I'm so appreciative to everybody here that listens um, and has listened even if it's only been for 20 seconds I appreciate you thank you very much um, so let's start off with the the you know, Valentine's, um, of course, Valentine's is a time when, you know, you're supposed to spend time with your loved one and so forth and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I did spend many, many years not having a Valentine, um, and being really, I'll be honest, really jealous of people that did. Um, of course, now that I do actually have a Valentine, I am very, very happy, obviously, Um, I've talked about my partner many times and uh, I just recently bought her a uh, for the first time I was able to buy her something more than you know what I would usually spend on myself or anybody else Um, so I I actually bought her a phone now it wasn't a super duper um, you know not an iPhone whatever they are whatever they're up to right now 2021 Samsung 2021 it wasn't anything like that it was a bit more of a a purchase than I would normally spend Um, but the main reason I got it was because her phone was dying and my partner really likes to take photos and so I thought getting her a phone where she can use it um, for more high definition photos for when she does her hiking and all that sort of stuff that she does then you know, it's probably a good idea to give her something that she's going to use and something she's going to enjoy. Now, uh, the funniness was uh, the fact that while my partner sent me a text saying, I think I need to buy a new phone. Um, I'm going to buy this one. And me just going, um, I'd actually decided already to buy your phone. Um, let's look at it together and we'll, we'll sort one out. So we, we picked a really nice phone and luckily uh, it was there by the time I got paid so I was able to pay for it um I'm not going to tell you exactly how much it was um it was a Samsung M3 Galaxy um uh, M31 sorry and it's quite a nice one uh, the main reason we got it was also because it's blue um which is my partner's favorite color um yeah I was, I was just really really happy with the the way that we got it um we did pay a little bit more than we were originally hoping to pay for because when we tried to book it through Samsung themselves, uh, the price was really good, um, but they didn't have that particular color. And then a couple of days later, they lost it completely. So we were lucky enough to find the actual um, phone. Um, but what I found out was just how much that action of thinking of my partner that way um, really filled her love tank. Now, for those that if this is the first time you're hearing about a love tank, um, I strongly, strongly suggest um, you read the book, The Five Love Languages, or listen to it. I listen to it on audiobook. Um, I know I've briefly touched on it as an amazing book before in one of my previous episodes. Um, I'm going to reinforce that now. Uh, If you and your partner are, you don't feel like you're communicating properly, before you do anything like throw your relationship away take the time take the effort put the pride aside listen to that book or read that book 
um, get yourself and your partner to complete the quiz that's originally how I was like introduced to it my partner sort of said hey look have you read this book I said look I don't even know what that book is she sent me the questionnaire which you can do and it's free um, just search literally the five love languages um, and you will find it do the quiz your partner does the quiz you email each other the answers and you compare um, when you're doing these there's no judgment okay um, listen to what your partner has to say to you and at the same time talk to your partner tell them what you need uh, the five love languages basically covers a whole lot of ways that you may enjoy spreading love or receiving love and then you know what fills your love tank and then on the opposite side they might be completely different for what your partner how they respond um and so when you have that meeting um afterwards and you've got to be honest with yourselves like you know if there's something that you know you really like doing your partner doesn't like you you know you have to look at the option well like you know is it is it something that's going to break this relationship and the way i are the way i'm acting uh affecting my partner um and can i change it or is this something that is ingrained in me that i cannot change and then they just have to deal with it like that's the sort of thing that you have to sort of do um and even if you're like we we looked at the love languages uh within the first year of our relationship and i'll be honest i was doing some things that i no longer do because it is not what my partner would have would like um and at the same time she changed things for me as well um you know one of my one of my love languages for example is actually giving um i like giving presents and it, it's just how i am my partner is not one of those sorts of people that that likes receiving gifts um let alone giving like she gives gifts but she doesn't like receiving so on that we both took something so that when i did get her something she accepts it um acknowledges it um but at the same time because of that i learned not to give as much um and when i say i was giving quite a bit it was it was like you know i might go see something that was cute reminds me of her so i buy it and give it to her um problem was i was spending so much of my money on things like gifts for people and all that sort of stuff that i realized you know um i need to start changing that and then it was got reinforced when my partner was like well i don't actually like receiving a lot of gifts um i, I like more actions like when you show me your actions and so yeah it, it's it's really helped our relationship um not that we were having problems before we only had probably one fight in the whole time that we've been together and, and that's a proper fight we're talking not not like a you know oh i don't like you very much oh i'm going to my room Rah! you know that sort of thing we're talking like a proper you know it could have been over at one point in time um and it wasn't until after i read the book and my partner had already read the book and so when when i read it and i sort of acknowledged what was going on like you've got to do a little bit of you got to do a little bit of thinking about yourself the way you act um and also think about your partner um but once you do that questionnaire and you guys come together oh it's 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 magic it's magic if you take it on board if you're too stubborn to realize what you're doing might be hurting the partner that you love then you're up a creek without a paddle like you're never going to fill their love uh their love tank but yeah i, I mean i i strongly suggest you know for this valentine's day if you haven't already think about doing that with your partner just you know take a few minutes the quiz the questionnaire is like a five minute thing if that and you get emailed the results you email it to your partner your partner does the same quiz and then you guys can she sends or he sends the one to you and you review each other's answers the main thing is don't be judgmental when you get the answers if you see that you're doing something that they don't like you know don't be like oh oh they don't love me they don't want to be things like you know take it on board as like you know it's something that you may have to change or at the very least um it's something that you guys can talk about because that's the main thing 
the one thing about the the five love languages is it's all about communication there are so many different ways that we communicate um humans can do by you know it's not just the words that we speak it's the words on a paper it's the mannerisms it's the body language it's uh, emotions and feelings and there's just so much so when you're reading the email from your partner or your email maybe you're reading your own email and you start to feel emotions that you know maybe they don't like this anymore maybe they won't you know push that shit aside just realize that you're getting a pretty big glimpse into how your partner likes and wants to be loved so once you take that on board you'll find hey look i can actually do this this is a really really great um tool and you use that as that you use that as a tool to make your relationship even stronger than what it is already like th this is not just something for people that are feel like they're failing at love this is for anybody that is in love in fact it's not even just about the love languages that you have with your partner there are other books out there for things like love languages with your parents love languages with your younger children like it's it's a really big way to learn how to communicate with people that may not know about your communication ways and, and I'm not saying you have to change at all. If you want to stay the same, and you want your partner to change with you, just bear in mind that, you know, you're taking that on board. And if you're prepared not to change um, and not to be considerate of their feelings, then, you know, you run the risk of ruining that relationship. So take your time, work on it together, and trust me, you will even if you're in a strong you could be in the strongest relationship you could be married for 30 years and think oh we're doing fantastically we don't need love languages and then once you do it and your partner does it and you're like holy shit we we can actually be stronger like that's what you will find um and it's not about backing down or anything like if you're one of these prideful people and that you feel like you have to have the right way maybe you're an alpha male or alpha female it's not about that. It's about recognizing what it is that you do that might be hurting your partner. Um, and then are you strong enough to change that if you need to? Like, that's the sort of thing that it is. An amazing book again. Uh, I mean, I strongly, strongly suggest it is one of those books that will change your life uh, with a partner, if you've got a partner. Um it can even make you think about yourself as well. Like you, we're not, even though you, you know, you may not even have a partner at the moment. You might have love languages that, you know. But once you've identified your own love languages, then you know going into a relationship, even if it's a new relationship or a previous relationship that you're going back into, you know, if you identified the way that you communicate and the way that you, you know, how you feel love, and you can then communicate that with your partner, then trust me it, it is worth every minute of reading or every minute of listening uh to that book because it will it will change your your romantic life but also your way that you communicate in general um because communication is such a huge thing that we just don't know we, we're still scratching the surface on some of the the forms of communication the ways that we communicate um yes there are hundreds of books out there on this you can do this 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 and it means this 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 but when you open your mind to the book properly and you actually you don't sort of shoot it down before you get a chance to actually get in deep with what it's trying to accomplish then yeah you will find it changes a lot of the way that you are so that you can be with the person that you love and that's the main that's the main goal obviously like you know it's about strengthening and filling and and in, in their own words filling your partner's love tank um and and yeah so just hearing my partner say you know that her love tank was filled not because i bought her a a, a phone or anything like that, but because one i thought of her and you know i gave her a gift which you know as i said she's her thing was not really about receiving gifts or giving gifts, um, but it was it was it was the thought that 
you know, it's something she could use. Um, yes, we sat down and we actually discussed the phone together. Like, we picked out which phone would be the best for her. Um, but the thought was the main main sort of early Valentine's Day present for her. Um, and then she sort of said, like, you know, she went back at me and she said, look, I want to know what do you want? Um, and she knows that I quite like shoes and sneakers. Um, I've got a pair that I've run dry pretty much pretty pretty quickly. Um, I, I'm not a sneaker head. I'm not, I'm not going to ever claim that. Like, compared to my other friend who was a sneaker head to the days... Um, I am like uh, nothing um, but I do like myself a pair of Adidas uh, NMDs with the with the um, with the boost that they use in the ultra boosts and stuff like it, it's just it's like walking on a cloud and she goes look I'll, I'll, I'll give you some money and you can buy some because she knows that I've been looking at a pair um, and I went back at her and I said no you know what actually I would really appreciate it if you if you just gave me some money for um, and put it on sharesies. Now, I've previously talked about sharesies before. It is basically a New Zealand uh, online place where we can buy into New Zealand shares, US shares, Australian shares, and you know ETFs, mutual funds, and all that sort of stuff. And unfortunately, because I've been paying off debts and all that sort of stuff. Um, I haven't really had a chance to do a, a weekly or a, a, sorry, a fortnightly contribution like I was when I was starting. I was I was putting on about a hundred bucks every fortnight, and then investing that in certain companies and that sort of stuff. And so, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to do that because basically I've been maxing out how I pay everything else off, just so I can pay everything else off, obviously. And so, it was a really, really big thing for me to turn around and go you know what actually no I would rather actually get some sh- some money for sharesy so I can invest it because with my partner I want to have a future and part of that future is me retiring early retiring young and retiring rich um, now whether that be investments whether that be you know Oh, passive income however like this is a, a this is a way of creating passive income that I can use and pull out years in advance or it could be something that when I eventually have children they can have you know all that sort of stuff can be looked at so yeah that that that, that was something that I was surprised with um, myself because usually I'd be like oh a pair of shoes yeah that'd be great I need a new pair of shoes like the the pair that I'm wearing at the moment, I'll be honest, are cheapos from the warehouse, uh, kind of like the American version of Target uh, or Walmart. You know, they're like, they're, they're good shoes, they're cheap shoes. They'll do, um, you know. But ideally, I would like at some point in time another pair of like NMDs. But for me to turn around and go, you know, someone offering to give me money to do that, and me going, actually, I want to invest it. That is a huge thing for me. Um, uh, you know, me trying to think about my future as opposed to going for the material is very, very shocking. Um, so yeah, that was that was pretty big, um, and I think that filled her fuel tank even more, her love tank, um, because she was like, oh, you know, it's like he's going to use it for something good, not just you know a pair of shoes or. You know the latest Marvel toy or something like that. You know it's it's you know and I felt good because I was like you know what not only am I filling my partner's love tank I'm filling my own because I'm like I'm I'm feeling better about who I am and what I'm doing now that I'm trying to change and all of this has you know been years in development of obviously like the last two three years of development that I've been going through to get me to this point. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It's pretty pretty happy. Um, now I said I'd also talk about Redbubble. Um, what I was going to touch on with Redbubble, and thank you for staying with me so long. If you're here just for the print on demand and Redbubble stuff, um, but basically what I'm going to touch on is try to give you guys a couple of ideas of how I've just created my own version of an evergreen trend. 
uh, and also trying to scale those trends. So we've talked about evergreen trends before and how you know it's basically something that you can create which can be sold all year round. That is effectively what an evergreen trend is. And I think in my one of my previous examples um, that I've told you guys was the when I grow up I want to be and then a whole lot of different answers with different styling. That is not only an evergreen trend that anybody can buy at any time of the year, but it's also uh, an, a, an example of scaling up uh, my evergreen trend. So for those that don't know, scaling up is basically taking a simple design or, or a thought about a design and seeing how you can make different versions of it so that you can create like from that one idea, you could possibly have 50 new ideas. Now, um, as I said with mine, it's like, you know, when I grow up, I want to be and I had things like an influencer, or a secret agent, a martial artist, and, you know, all, all these sorts of things with, with different images. So each shirt was its own design, but they all came as part of a, 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 a scaled up collection. Um, and I kept those as a collection in the um, on Redbubble as well. Now, another example of a uh, design that you can scale is, of course, the eat, sleep, gym, repeat, or eat, sleep, swim, repeat, eat, sleep, fish, repeat, eat, sleep, and, well, you get the idea, eat, sleep, design, repeat. Um, you can basically create that yourself. And there's a lot of little tools and stuff so that you can, you know, you can do things like automate um, and just, you know, you, you if you're willing to pay for things like uh, Merch Titans and, you know, automate POD, uh, then you can use those to create, you know, possibly 100 to 200 designs just off that one simple repetitive type design. And it's not about going, like, you, you'll see the... Um, Another one that always pops up is the um, periental uh, content warning um, and then something like, you know, some phrase in the middle. That is an example of one. Um, so it, it's about taking those ideas and going, right, if I create this design, what else can I do with this design? So I want you to, next time you're, you're creating, I want you to sit back and think a bit. Like, if you just put something on the paper, um, and this works really, really well with text-based stuff, but not just text-based stuff. Um, one of the things I've just recently done is I've created a, a I'm trying to create my own little brand um, within Redbubble of designs. Uh, and the design itself, I'll tell you guys, um, Please don't steal it, because obviously I'm trying to create it myself. Um, but it's Kawaii uh, Pocket Friends. Now, for people that don't know what Kawaii is, Kawaii is cute um, in Japanese. Um, but it's also, like, you know, used by a lot of people. Like, oh, that's so Kawaii, that's so cute. And my design that I started to, to scale um, was Kawaii Pocket Friends, which is basically creating a pocket design to be placed on any shirt. Um, with a little thing popping out. Now you would have seen other ones before, you would have seen thousands of them. Um, and the way I found these was I, I just sort of was looking at something and I was like, oh, that would be quite cool. I was like, I wonder if I could create a pocket with something popping out. And sure enough, I did. And I started creating them and uploading them. And within a couple of, within about two days, I started getting quite a few favorites on these particular designs. Uh, now, I don't know if that's just because they've just recently been uploaded and Redbubble is referring them to other people. Um, but what I did was I made like, because the pocket itself is grey, what I did was I um, then put the design on a grey background so that whatever product I say, sell it on, it's preferred if it's on grey. Now, it doesn't, uh, it actually looks okay on things like red and all that sort of thing as well, but uh, the pocket itself that I've you know, created, and I'm using air quotation marks here as well, um, is grey as well. <clears throat> so, um, and, and it might have like, you know, a Shiba, it's got a Shiba Inu out, uh, hanging outside. Another one's like a, a sleeping raccoon, like in between the two pockets. Um, so yeah, it, it, I, I created about 40 of these, and my goal is 
when I get a bit more chance, a bit more time, um, I will try to do one for all sorts of di different kawaii things. So I, I focused on kawaii animals to start off with, and I didn't even, I barely touched the surface of ones that you can use in Canva. Uh, and as you guys know, I use Canva for all my designs. This was very easy to do in Canva. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, it did take a bit of time fucking around. I'm not going to lie. Um, but in two days, I'd basically created 40 designs or the idea of 40 designs. Now, of course, I did have to do some extra work. I had to use a little bit of, you know, semi photo editing type skills um, to the best of my abilities with using the tools that Canva has. Uh, and while Canva is good for some things, it's no Adobe, let's put it that way. Um, but at the same time, uh, I managed to mock up 40 designs, uh, including the template for like the pocket. And that was just animals. And that's not even, you know, I, I plan to make that grow. Um, my designs in total are sitting at about now at about 204 designs. Um, which I'm just shocked, um, cause you know, I've been doing this, I've been doing this for a couple of months, but then realistically, I've only ramped up my designs in the last month. Um, I was sitting at about 49 designs for probably about three months, um, barely uploading, just letting them go. I had a couple of sales, but nothing much. But once I hit that over that 100 designs, I was just like, whoa, I can do more of this, you know, I can add more, I can do this. And so now I'm going to sort of try to market a little bit more some of my new designs, download them, put them on an Instagram ad, let them go, uh, and then maybe also create a Facebook ad um, in the next couple couple of months um, when I start getting some more designs. Um, on that, I also got my one of my t-shirts that I told you I bought, uh, my Ninja Vanish t-shirt arrived. Uh, it was late. It was very late. It was about, it took about oh, close to a month to arrive. I'm still waiting on my on my um, samurai style magnet, um, large magnet. So that is due to come in about, uh, about the 20th to the 27th of February, um, which would have been... Well, it would have actually been over a month. I think the t-shirt took about three weeks. Um, part of that it was not Redbubble's fault. It was actually the post. Uh, the post took about two weeks um, where it had apparently arrived in New Zealand and then nothing had happened. So my t-shirt came yesterday. Um, I am pretty happy with it. Um, I tried something. The reason why I picked this, this design to be printed is... I tried to make a 3D effect um, with the ninja vanishing in the smoke, uh, putting it in a border. Um, I would probably change it a bit more um, if I did another design like this in the future. I'd probably get rid of the border in, in general because um, it just looks a little bit weird um, on a t-shirt. Um, weird because I was going with the, the, the frame of what people were saying. Um, but I, I, overall, I'm happy with the t-shirt. Like, I'm, I'm really proud of the design because it's something new and it's something that I want to sort of go a bit more in depth with. Um, uh, you know, the colors came out pretty cool. Um, and even the things that I, like, one of the things I was worried about was the eyes because the eyes, the original Ninja had no eyes, so I had to put new eyes on there. Um, and I was worried that I'd sort of mismatched them. Uh, but they came out quite cool and in fact even just the picture of the ninja by itself without you know just doing the jutsu um would be quite cool on a on an image itself so i might still use that um and just sort of cross niche that a bit more um as just making a ninja one um but yeah overall i'm pretty happy with what's going on there um as for the health the health is doing okay um i have just recently gone for some blood tests and I am doing a, a well overdue <laughs> checkup um, which will you know give me a bit of an idea of what I'm doing with the plant-based uh, my diabetes and all that sort of stuff so yeah fingers crossed um, all as well and they don't need to like you know 
do too much to me. Um, other than that, not much else has changed. I'm just plodding along with work um, and uh, trying to scale my business a bit more. Just started reading um, a, a new book about, you know, basically finding your niche for your business. So some things may change in the future, depending on, you know, what the advice of this uh, book gives me. Um, and, you know, um, if that does happen and if I do decide to change anything, I will let you know, obviously, um, because I try to keep you guys informed about all that sort of stuff. Uh, I've also made sort of like a little idea that I want to actually get back into uh, writing some more blog posts because it's been such a long time. Um, and I kind of want to give my business a bit more of a, a, a presence online, not just a podcast. Um, so yeah, uh, it, it probably won't be for a couple of weeks, but very soon I do intend to start bringing that part of my business back uh, and basically scaling up um, on what I'm creating, content, all that sort of things. Um, I may also be trying to do this thing with uh, registering with Amazon KDP, which is Kindle Digital Publishing. Um, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos which show that you can make pretty simple designs or even take some of your current designs, put them on like uh, a, a, uh, an ebook and sell that as something that someone can download uh, and use, like a notebook or something like that. So, yeah, I, 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 I am looking into it. I am going to sort of delve a bit deeper into it um and and do a little bit more research before i decide to do anything um because at the end of the day that is the most important thing is researching all of the stuff going right what can i do what is too hard what you know how do i fix it um is it actually that hard and so forth so yeah um that's that's been going on in my world i do hope everyone has a fantastic valentine's day um, even if you're by yourself and you, you know, you're celebrating Valentine's by yourself, there is nothing wrong with that. Trust me. Um, you will find what you need. Um, and as I suggested, even if you do have a partner, if you don't have a partner, do read the love five love languages, um, and just, you know, take your time, spend that time on you as well. If you don't have a partner, that's what Valentine's day is for. I know it can be depressing. I've been there trust me i've been there um and you can feel depressed and down you may want to drink your sorrows away this year say no this year turn around and go you know what i'm going to take this day and work on me and do do a little bit of mindfulness do a little bit of like you know self-reflection don't dwell on the negative never dwell on the negative because that is where you get hit trust me um whereas if you instead dwell on you know what is going for you what is make it, what makes you get out of bed every day what makes you feel good those sorts of things are the sorts of things you need to focus on and there is a lot a lot a lot of stuff that you can look into rather than being negative rather than worrying about all the things that are going wrong with the world and your life and all that sort of things be be proud and be happy with who you are try to live your best life the way you are living it um if you don't have anybody don't don't stress it don't stress it it will come if that's what you want if you don't want it and you don't care you know what that's okay too there's never any judgment um especially where i am uh, if you ever want to contact me to talk about this sort of stuff you know what i'm here um i i you've got my email doncostas at gmail.com give me a chat give me a call until next week love you all have a great valentine's have a great week go out there get whatever you need to do whatever you need to be the amazing person that i know you can be until next week i love you and thank you good luck <laughs>